Welcome to Shakespeare FC, The Sonnets, a five-minute journey into the iambic abominations on life, love, death, and desire, with a smattering of nature and naughtiness from the mind of our literary epicure from Warwickshire, or, as you become more familiar, Uncle Will. I'm your host, Kari Marshall. In his sonnets, Uncle Will wrote from a very personal place about the human condition, all in just 14 lines. But in that meager space, we can find an absolute wealth of human experience that you just might identify with. So, let's you and I go on a little journey. Today, Uncle Will is wrestling with his heart. Now, we don't know when he penned his 144th sonnet, and no clever clogs, it didn't necessarily come after 143. But it is safe to say it did come following a little bit of self-reflection. Under the surface, Will seems to be battling with dire circumstance. The fair youth whom he dedicated his first 17 sonnets to, largely to tell him to sow his seed to pass his beauty on to the next generation, seems to be spending some time with a woman after all. But not just any woman, but the very dark lady that Uncle Will has himself doted on. This brings to light some interesting feelings in our punctilious purveyor of prose, jealousy, anger, and sorrow. In the first quatrain, he comes clean, admitting that he is in love with two people, one of whom brings him comfort and the other despair. He imagines them as two opposing angels whispering suggestions in his ear. The good angel is our fair young youth, the other a woman of dark complexion. Two loves have I, of comfort and despair, Which, like two spirits, do suggest me still. The better angel is a man right fair, The worse a spirit, a woman coloured ill. In the second quatrain, he seems to lay out her motives, In the hopes of dragging Uncle Will swiftly to hell, Our dark lady tempts the fair youth away from William, And in doing so, is attempting to turn him from saint to sinner, wooing him with her evil arrogance. To win me soon to hell, my female evil, tempteth my better angel from my side, and would corrupt my saint to be a devil, wooing his purity with her foul pride. In the third quatrain, William begins to question himself a bit, he says that whether the fair youth has been tempted from the divine to the diabolical, he can only guess at, but cannot actually know for certain. But since the two of them are away from Will's company, and friends of one another, he is almost convinced, with a bit of naughty double meaning here, that his angel is inside the other's hell. And whether that my angel be turned fiend, Suspect I may, yet not directly tell. But being both from me, both to each friend, I guess one angel in another's hell. In the final couplet, the doubt returns, with Uncle Will admitting that he will never actually know, and must live in doubt until, that is, the dark lady releases the youth from her clutches. Yet this shall I ne'er know, but live in doubt, Till my bad angel fire my good one out. I think what this sonnet reminds me of is that love is hard, loyalty can be tricky, and that even the most accomplished and gifted literary minds of the English-speaking world can still behave like a selfish, pouty little boy when it comes to unrequited love. Well, alas and alack, my friends, that is all we have time for. Join us again next time for another hopefully informative journey into the mind of Uncle William. I'm Kari Marshall. Farewell until next time. Shakespeare FC is a production of WGTE Public Media. You can learn more and download all episodes at wgte.org slash sfc or wherever you get your podcasts.